Hey guys, this week Leo becomes the newest um, Herald of Galactus as he becomes the Silver Surfer for the first episode of Marvel vs. TMNT Phase 4. So he had come with part of the strap glued already when I bought him used, but part missing. So I try a plastic twist tie, but the super glue didn't hold that to the plastic shell. So I moved on to my backup uh, suede lace. Now I'm cutting for the surfboard, and what I'm using, it's uh, from the dollar store as well, but uh, as well, yeah, other stuff comes from there. Um, it's like you put it in the ground to mark your plants, and I'm pretty sure it's balsa wood, so it's really easy to cut. Well, it's easy to cut even if it's not balsa wood, but that's why I think it's balsa wood. And I glue some um, popsicle sticks that I cut to get the basic shape. And I uh, would have liked to make the whole thing out of wood, but I chose to do clay because I want to get better at clay and I glue those down because that's where his feet are going to go and one of them is going to go into the base. And then I wrap it up in foil. But if I did wood, there's too much sanding and the um, workshop there is in my bedroom, so I don't like to do a lot of sanding in there because I have to sleep in there and, you know, dust is not fun. So I have my drill, I drill a hole for the uh, surfboard to go into the base and that's just an MDF shape I also got at the dollar store and it was just a few bucks, it's just a square, I think it's like 4 by 4 inches. I'm going on an angle so I can get more of a cliff and also for a better balance because it's going to be heavy on the back. And then I cut, it's uh, just a cheap paintbrush also from the same dollar store they come in a pack of like eight for two bucks and they make a great clear dowel if you need one and I just cut it with a little hacksaw and then a, that plastic twist tie that I had before I used to wedge in there to make it fit tighter now I'm gonna start adding some foam it's just uh, foam floor mats from the dollar store as well they were four bucks for four. And when I'm cutting them, I'm cutting on an angle and I'm cutting only like halfway and then ripping off the rest and that gives it a more like organic look. And more rugged and natural and random. Then I just glue a bunch of little pieces for the bottom. And so I want it to look like he's coming over a cliff or off the edge of a cliff or at least like he's flying the best I can and I thought that maybe I could just paint Leo silver and that would be the whole video but that would be boring so I had to make a base mostly the video is the base but I make the surfboard out of clay I did the bottom and then I glue it in place so it's easier to work but I could have made a better surfboard if I didn't glue it in place but um just because the bottom is a little rough but I thought it's like uh, liquid silver and as he's moving so fast it's kind of rippling but you'll see at the end what I mean because you can't see the bottom right now and I just fill a little bit of the time at a time and this is some old clay that was from the dollar store and it's I opened it like four or five years ago I've used it twice and now I'm using it again. I wasn't, didn't really set up properly for clay. The next day. Now it's the next day and I had done that at night. So it's good to check on your clay after like six to eight hours, but I was sleeping. And the next day some pieces had fallen off and I just used super glue to get those back on. And then the super glue dries and I break out my favorite, uh, tool there spackling to fill in all the cracks and I just cover everything all the cracks filled in nicely and let that dry for about 20 minutes I put some little uh, cork feet on and I'm putting another coat of spackling but everything didn't react great because then the moisture from the spackling as it dries kind of goes in the clay so it's making new bumps as I'm getting rid of old bumps now I go to sanding. I start with just a little piece of sanding paper, but I move to a nail file block that has all different grits on it. But the spackling um, 
getting stuck to it pretty quick because it's still a little moist. But as the dust falls, I'm leaving it on the base and because it's a little moist, it's looking like sand or like different rocks te rock texture. So I mix some um, black acrylic with a black acrylic primer and I'm covering everything now with that. Yeah. Was I talking about something else? It doesn't look great with that light, but I needed to see what I was doing. Now that I've put the paint on, I can see the cracks more, so I go for another round of spackling. I'm just using some water in my finger to smooth it out as best as I can. Now another quick light sanding coat. I really hate sanding. I could have done a much better job sanding, but from, for, I make sure to get around the pegs that are going to go in his feet so his feet will fit in. And after that dries, another coat of paint, the black primer acrylic mix. And uh, at this point I've given up on, uh, that's when I decided it's liquid and it's rippling and it's not gonna be perfectly smooth because I didn't want to sand anymore. And I didn't have uh, valuable close to me a good sanding block. So now it's ripply, and, uh, and now I move on to painting the base because I painted Leo silver and the surfboard silver. And I just put a dark gray and a light gray beside each other and I just kind of go back and forth and then brush it on, still leaving some black showing. Now I'm dry brushing a cinnamon brown over the whole base just to make it look like dirt or a different colored rock and age or whatever it looks like. It looks much better with the light brown accents. Now I go for a brighter silver to make it a little more silvery for a second coat of silver. And this is also from the dollar store. It's just uh, moss or fake moss. And I put that's just regular PVA glue maybe. The red, white glue and I'm gluing down little pieces of the moss and branches and stuff all over in the rocks to make it look natural and organic and I break out the glossy varnish for Leo and the surfboard because I want them to be shiny silver and shiny and uh, that's the end so that's the base that's you know most of the project here yeah, I think it looked came out pretty good pretty cool and we see Leo he just got painted silver and the um, liquid silver surfboard anyway I hope you like this more coming soon thanks a lot for watching uh, until next time always keep your head up peace